Hello everyone. Let me start this video by thanking you guys for all these kind words and reviews for the Detroit Metro Wayne Airport. Although it's in still in developer mode, uh, you guys were so kind, so thanks a lot. Uh, so I'm going to explain to you in this video, I'm going to show you uh, different ways to make this look more realistic. Now I do agree with you, if you have the default uh, aircraft installed only and no liveries into your community folder, the sim will generate uh, aircraft to the gates and it will put uh, general aviation aircraft to, uh, to fill up the, the gates and yes I do agree it does look off and it doesn't look good uh, but there's ways to to do it and I'm gonna explain in this video now I, I just want to explain before we go forward why I didn't add any static aircrafts to the gates to look more realistic one it's because that gate is compromised you can use it so I have to in the background I have to take it off for you not to be able to spawn to that gate and then uh, for the default ATC to give you instruction to park there uh, because now it's occupied with a static aircraft second if you fly online the online like VAT, VATSIM or pilot age or whatever you prefer uh, the ATC, the online ATC, will not know that uh, there is a gate, uh, there is an aircraft parked at that gate. So if you fly in and he is going to give you that gate to park, then you, you will have to overlap the, the static aircraft. Everything you saw so far are the default aircraft. There is nothing installed in my community folders. No liveries, no other aircraft. If you do have those, the sim will take those two as well and put them in a random gate. Now, if you have military uh, airplanes, it will park it right there. So it's not going to look realistic. It all depends what you have in your community folder. Now, to make this airport more realistic, I do recommend for you guys to download the AI manager and traffic controller from Alpha India Group. I will list a, a link where to get it from and also uh, a link of the installation a video that I, I follow now there's plenty of them how to do it uh, on YouTube and you can follow whatever you prefer so the downside of having this uh, software is that you have to download liveries and also it downloads uh, uh, flight uh, routes and it comes with a lot of different uh, aircraft types uh, from general aviation all the way to the big guys uh, plus obviously the livery so it takes time to do that but the good part is that it works for any airports you fly from and to so it works for the entire world not just for Detroit so after installing the software you should have uh, two folders in your community folder uh, they look like that and then you know you can see I have uh, just a couple of uh, uh, airports here so let's go inside the sim now and I'm gonna show you the difference all right so we're in the sim now there's two options that you can use the AIG you can use it with a default traffic live traffic that I'm gonna show you right now so this is the default uh, the weather, I'm just going to change it to 7 p.m. I'm going to change it to a daylight. Okay, so let's go in the sim. So this is the default traffic. It's still the default traffic here. The only difference is because I have the two folder installed from AIG. Now the sim can generate a more realistic aircraft types to the gate. Because now there's more options. Obviously, you know, deliveries too, because I download a couple of liveries, but the aircraft types, they're way better than just the default one. Yes, it's not perfect. You can see you got the Airbus Neo uh, liveries there. 
and then uh, okay frontier uh, delta and then you see on the right side uh, microsoft flight simulator livery so it's still gonna generate that but in combination with everything else what i have and this is again i just want to mention this is the default traffic that comes with microsoft flight simulator the only difference is now i have the two aig folders installed into my community folder now if you want to have uh, like a specific airliner park at the specific gates then you have to turn on the ai traffic controller to run in the background while you fly uh, the design for that it's still in alpha it's still in alpha mode so it's not perfect uh, of course you can expect uh, glitches and things like that You're still working on it but that's the idea of the ai traffic from aig so let's take a look on how it looks when you have the ai traffic controller on as well so for air traffic controller to work properly need to change a couple of settings we go to traffic I'm gonna set that to off and ground aircraft density we're gonna move that to zero all right let's go in the sim and see how it looks all right so as you can see there is no aircrafts parked at the gates everything it's empty all right, so let's start traffic controller. Uh, now this takes a while to start, but uh, you'll be patient. Once uh, you start it, then you go to settings. Now I have my activity level set to 100. I want to generate as many aircraft as possible. Let's click on insert traffic and there you go. Now, the longer the, uh, you wait, the more aircraft will pop up. Now, this is not a real time here. Uh, so this is uh, probably like 11, 12 o'clock. So it's gonna generate traffic based on that hour. I don't know how accurate is that, but at least as you can see, there's a lot of Delta uh, liveries there and aircraft. This uh, Detroit, it is a Delta hub. So you can expect a lot of Delta aircraft to be at the gates. So there's more on this side. Now, I don't know how exactly how accurate is this. This is not the real time, but uh, let's, uh, let's see. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and set the real time in uh, live weather. All right, so let's do that. And there you go. Now, this is the real weather and time. I don't know if you noticed, but there were some aircrafts here that took them off and then uh, added a different uh, aircraft types. It's still Delta, but as you can see on the left side, there's two approaching. And then if I move this way, there's one on the right side uh, taxiing. So like I said, the longer the wait, uh, the better it's going to take the data from online uh, and implement it into the sim. Uh, let's see if I zoom in. What is that? Uh, I think there's uh, an aircraft tax. I think American Airlines. It looks like, yep, American Airlines uh, taxiing from there. So there we go. This is how you make not just Detroit, but any air, airports that you want to fly from and to to look more realistic by using uh, this uh, software. Now, before I end this video, I just want to clarify uh, something. So if we're looking at the charts, ILS, so we're going to have two ILS options for runway 4 left and 22 right so this is ILS Yankee Y for 4 left now if I go 
ILS Zulu. So you do have an ILS Zulu and a localizer. And then the, the one, the Y, ILS Y, runway 4 left. Now if you look at the charts, it says localizer and cursor offset. 2.53 degrees so also if we go down the line here we go to runway 22 right so you have ILS Zulu and then ILS Yankee which also has a localized cursor offset of 2.5 degrees the other day I made a video Approaching uh, runway ILS 22 right Yankee, which has a localizer and cursor offset of 2.5 according to the charts. So, what that means is once you see the runway, you will have to turn off your automatic pilot and adjust the aircraft to land as close or in the middle of the runway it's nothing wrong with the sim it's nothing wrong with the, the scenery it's the way the ILS is so it's four left Yankee and two to right Yankee for Detroit has a localizer and cursor of course for those ILS's now I just want to point something out you see there is an aircraft about to land in front of me. Now I do have the air, uh, AIG traffic controller on on this video and because I got the clearance 50, to land 40, it told him to go around 30, and he 20, does. Retard. So now I, I'm I gotta say I'm impressed by that. I wasn't expecting that. So alright so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you find any mistakes that I made, please do let me know and I'll try to fix them as, as fast as possible. Again, Detroit Metro is still in developer version. It's, there's more to come. I just need more time. So, um, you can reach me on Discord. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll post everything where you can reach me under the description of the video. So, until next time, happy flying.